women of all ages experience back pain when wearing high heels, these exercises will help. The first muscle we're going to address are the abdominals. So this is a really simple Pilates mat exercise called frogs. You're going to lie down with the soles of your feet together, wrap your abdominals around your spine, try to lift your pelvic floor, and pull your armpits down towards your hips. Make sure your head and neck soft and relaxed. Try to relax your jaw and your face. Put all the tension into your abdominals. You're only lifting about two inches up and two inches down. The head is never going to touch the floor. You want to make sure that there's a little space between your lower back and the mat. You want to really ensure that you have a nice curve in your lumbar spine. And continue pulling the belly button down into the lower back, making sure your abdomen is nice and tight and in the shape that you want it to be to support you in your high heels. You can do about 25 of these until you really feel a nice burn in the abdomen. The next thing we'll talk about are the inner thighs. Really important muscles for stabilizing, especially while you're wearing high heels. Come up on your tippy toes and reach down through the fingertips. Activate your abdominals and roll up into a nice bridge. Then bring your knees together and let your inner thighs kiss, really squeezing those inner thighs, and then open the knees back up to hip width apart. Knees together, inner thighs kiss, and open up to about hip distance apart. Really focus your brain on your inner thighs and squeeze those muscles together. You can do this anywhere between 10 to 25 times to get that inner thigh buzz. After that, you'll roll down, flex your feet. You might need a little bit more space here. Flex your feet, activate, roll back up, and you're just gonna lift the pelvis one inch up and one inch down. One inch up and one inch down. Working your hamstring glute insertion point probably the favorite part of your whole body, right, where your leg turns into your butt. But that's a really important muscle in terms of stabilizing the legs and the lower back, especially when you're wearing high heels. Again, 10 to 25 of these until you feel a nice lift right at the base of your buttocks. Soften and roll down. And the last muscle group we'll address, of course, would be the back. We're going to lie down on our stomachs, reaching the fingertips back, Separate your feet about mat width apart. It's really important here that we pull the stomach muscles up off the floor and try to keep your butt soft and relaxed. You're gonna reach your fingertips towards your toes, lift your stomach one more time. Inhale as you lengthen and lift your spine up, working the quadratus laborum, the muscles that surround your lumbar spine and your spinal extensors. And you'll exhale and lower back down. Lengthen and lift the abdomen, reach the fingertips along. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Hold it for a moment and exhale lower back down. And you can do 10 to 15 of these exercises. It's called flight. And it'll really help strengthen your back. After that, press back into extended child's pose and stretch your lower back right before you head out for the evening.